final time in this tournament will stand now for the Bolivian national anthem. Por favor, permanecer de pie para escuchar el himno nacional de Bolivia. There's an atmosphere building here. Carlos Lampe, the, uh, the goalkeeper and captain of Bolivia, leading his side for the handshakes here. The unusual situation of having two goalkeepers who are captains, of course, because uh, Sergio Romero wearing the armband for Argentina as well. He's greeting the, uh, the officials as he leads his team here into position. Well, after going with the same starting lineup in their first two games, Argentina makes six changes for this one. Rocco, Fernandez, Mascarano and Gaetan, all who've collected a yellow card, not risked ahead of the quarterfinals. Di Maria, of course, is injured. Messi doesn't start, but as we say, is expected to play a part at some point. Roncaglia, Cuesta and Levetzi making their first appearances of the tournament in that 4-3-3 lineup for Argentina here tonight. A fairly potent front line as well, isn't it? Levetsi, Higuain and Aguero. Even without um, a certain Lil Messi, they, they pack a punch. The referee is Peruvian, Victor Carrillo. A couple of his countrymen alongside him as assistant referees and the fourth official, official rather, Wilton Sampaio, is um, also... Well, it says Brazilian there, but I think he's Peruvian too. Ladies and gentlemen. But we pause now to remember those victims of the Orlando shootings earlier this week and our thoughts very much still with the victims and their loved ones. Just before that, there's the Bolivian lineup. Three changes from their last appearance against Chile. Jasmani Campo gets his first start of this tournament. As Subway and Nelson Cabrera, who played in that first game but missed the second, both make their returns. moments pause for the uh, the victims of the Orlando shootings wonderfully observed the American flag flying at half mast here tonight and this impressive and unusual Century Linkfield Stadium about to host its second game of this Copa America's Centenario. Argentina already know they're going through, almost certainly as group winners. Bolivia already know they are going home, so they're playing for reputations here tonight. It would take a quite extraordinary scoreline to deny Argentina top spot. A um, 
currently sit above Chile, who are in second in Group D, with a four-goal goal difference advantage in their favour. So it would take a 5-0 win for Bolivia here or something of that sort to uh, make Argentina drop to second. It's, it's not going to happen. You wouldn't have thought. On the right-hand side, Funes Mori has switched to that left-hand side of the Argentine defence with the changes that have been made. Rocco, of course, is uh, rested tonight because of the yellow card he picked up in the first game. A second yellow card would mean that he would be unavailable for the quarter-final tie, and that's the case with one or two others. Mascarano is uh, also rested. Fernandez, Gaetan, no need to take risks. Here is one Caglia on the right. Presenting itself here for Arjun. For Arjun. Dances, you would have. including Lovetsi, who's making his first appearance of this tournament. But he can't find his man in the middle. He's pretty sure of um, his starting 11. He's gone with that same 11 in the first two games. I think the only change he would make to that, of course, would be if Lionel Messi would, uh, Messi would present himself as being fully fit. On Caglia. There's Lovetsi. Gutierrez, first little win of the night for the man on the left-hand side for Bolivia, but uh, he'll have plenty more battles ahead. And there's Julio Cesar Baldivisio, the um, Bolivian coach, only 44 years of age. Racked up a fair few caps when he was a player, 85 Bolivian caps between 1991 and his retirement in 2005. El Emparador, they called him. The attacking midfielder. And his side have got a free kick here. For the foul on Arsa. Bit of a tussle going on. Smackberg, Dallas and Campos standing over this. In fact, Campos has run away, so it's going to be Martin Smedberg Dallas to take it. It's a line of green shirts. The referee just uh, ensuring all is correct. And Arsa was standing in offside position. The referee's just warning him, you're standing there in a position of offside. It is going to be Arsa that was aimed for. It's just a little bit of troubling times for the Argentinian defence, but they managed to survive themselves. Here's Smedberg Dallas. Pass is the target. challenge on Lovetsi that has given Argentina a free kick again. He's taking no prisoners, was he? He comes sliding in. To Mendy. Rare goal for him, of course, in the last game in Chicago. Nicolas Otamendi opening the scoring in that 5 0 win. Granovita. Argentina unable to keep possession, but they are able to re establish themselves. Lovetsi tucks it in. Lamella having come on 
was a substitute in the first two games. A rare start for him tonight. Here's Lavezzi again. Well, Caglia with the overlapping run and a decent ball over. The goalkeeper wasn't sure whether to come or not in the end. He's uh, relieved to see it cleared away by Saavedra. again. Levetsi retains his balance, but not with a second challenge. Frustration from Duck, who felt that the Argentine player made more of that, but uh, referee was uh, only about five yards away, so had a clear view of the challenge from Duck. And you can see the contact for yourselves. a little far for a direct strike on goal where that foul took place. Argentina have attacking possibilities here. Venega to take. Tied away by the Bolivian defence, Duck though almost dispossessed. Hack to safety by Cabrera. And it will be a Bolivian throw on that far side. So seven minutes played, nothing of great note so far. Nil-nil the scoreline. Argentina have enjoyed themselves against Bolivia of late. The last three games have yielded 14 goals. 2-0 in March earlier this year in a World Cup qualifier. With the two games before that, 5-0 and 7-0, Argentina have won. So they certainly have the psychological advantage of late coming into this tie. a year and most of us would settle for a weeks of his wages wouldn't we Argentina's throw well then shielded away Kranovita looking to hook it back towards the danger Lovetsi with a touch the flag was up for offside anyway challenge would have um, denied the goal scoring opportunity but flag up on this near side it's very close wasn't it thoughtful look from uh, Lionel Messi tonight for uh, Benega. Cuesta. Patience in possession again here for Argentina as they look to draw their opponents on. Again, another no-nonsense challenge. I'm not sure about the reaction here from Arsa, but uh, not that the referee's too impressed either. Well, having taken a look, he's uh, he's now going to have a word with uh, Victor Cuesta. It's a challenge. That's all it is. It is just a word. No card. 
Argentine central defender. Just a telling off from the referee, maybe a caution that um, something similar might end up in him being booked if it's repeated. will take this, made his debut against Mexico six years ago, three games that year. His next appearance was against Argentina in March of this year, so a long time between drinks for him. But he has been first-choice goalkeeper for Bolivia throughout this tournament so far, his third successive game. Lovetsi cutting in. Through here until he's rather cynically chopped down by Centeno, and I think this is going to be the first yellow card of the night, and he's earned it as well. Well, it's a thrilling run from Lavezzi here. He's already beaten two or three before he gets there. He's made the most of the challenge and earns his side a free kick in a very attacking position. About 10 yards or so outside that penalty area. Looks like they're just cooking up a plan here. Sergio Aguero and uh, Eric Lamella. One of the other might just tempt Lampe here. And he's still trying to organise the wall. Well, I think they're trying to point out where the wall should be. The referee's having none of that, and that's where he says it should be, and that's where it will be. So just a stride or two inside their own penalty area. Aguero in the contrasting yellow and pink boots. Or will it be Lamella off the left foot? It is Lamella who strikes it, the deflection takes it home. The goalkeeper's beaten. And Eric Lamella opens Argentina's account with 13 minutes played. Well, unlucky for the goalkeeper. It hits the wall. I think he judged the flight of the initial shot, but um, Yasmani ducked in there. Tried to duck out of the way, but it deflects off his back and past the, uh, the rather hapless Lampe on that occasion. And Argentina leading by a goal to nil. Congratulations all round and um, any slight, slight hint of um, a big Bolivian upset here tonight may be snubbed out already. They have done it before, you know. If you go back to um, 2009, a World Cup qualifier, they beat Argentina by six goals to one in an incredible performance, incredible result, but that was in La Paz at altitude. This, of course, is in Seattle, very much at sea level. The Pouget Sound just behind where we're uh, watching this game from, so you couldn't get any closer to sea level than this. And Argentina leading. And looking for more. Not out of play by Azurge. Second international goal, by the way, helped by the defender. Here's Rocaglia with the ball in, they're waiting for it. The goalkeeper can't hold it, and Argentina have their second. Keeping error, it'll probably go down as. But Argentina deserving their lot, pouring forward in numbers again. And the header down and in, off the boot, this time of Lavezzi.
Two goals in the blink of an eye. And Argentina in complete control already of this game. Well, he might be getting to the veteran stages, Ezekiel Levetsi, but um, he's still got that scoring touch. He's now scored eight goals for Argentina, and he does love playing against Bolivia because of those eight goals, four now have been scored against this team. So he's in familiar territory. from here, Baldovizio, he knew his side were up against it before the, uh, the match even began, and now the mountain has just grown larger and larger, Smedberg, Dallas, Argentina looking to counter, here's Aguero, green shirts are flooding back, with a touch in the turn. Lamella turns it left. Launched in there. Lavezzi, I think, will claim he might have had a little uh, push in the back as he tried to chase it, but referees having none of that. because they have now scored nine goals in the group games so far. 2-1 against Chile, 5-0 against Panama, 2-0 here tonight. Ooh, Duck's getting a little, uh, a little aerated here. One more goal would equal the Copa America group stage record of 10 goals in a tournament. Ecuador in 93 and Chile last year both scored 10 group goal games. So you get fairly short odds on Argentina, equaling or even surpassing that here. Here's the challenge that caused the consternation. Funes Mori's holding his head. already. Cuesta. Lovetsi. Can't quite get there, but Argentina retain possession. Roncaglia. Lovetsi. Strong in the challenge again, but there was um, something off the ball here. After Roncaglia had passed it, he and Duck seem to have come together. Free spotted that and comes over for a word. Well, I wouldn't say it's been played in the best of spirits so far, would you? Duck with a nosebleed. Have a look at this, the ball's gone, and then, well, I think Duck was the innocent party in all of that, wasn't he? Suddenly a push 
off the ball, and Ducker was following in, was the victim of a head clash. But I think Ron Caglia was actually pushed into him. Smarting this, not just the nosebleed, but the clash of heads might have uh, just caused him um, a little bit of a loss of sensation or two. A word here for Martin Smedberg Dalens. If you're wondering about the name, by the way, Smedberg Dalens, he is Swedish born, his dad was Bolivian, which is why he now represents this country. And still a concern for Yasmani Duck, the New York Cosmos player. Sure, he's going to be allowed to carry on while there's still blood there. They're going to need to sort that out before um, he's allowed on the field. He is um, giving a free kick here for Argentina. So here's the incident. See, the push comes across, and Duck, who's just following up, finds himself with a bloodied nose. I think it was Gutierrez whose push on Roncaglia meant that Roncaglia's head hit Yasmani Duck. But we're underway again. There's a lot of unnecessary stuff in a game so far, isn't there? It's, um, it underlines the prudence of Gerardo Martino's decision not to risk some of those players who've picked up yellow cards so far, because this is the kind of game so far that could result in um, an unnecessary booking being picked up. Lampe's clear, a little bit of niggle about it. to make that change as well. Diego Pecarano, I think, is, uh, is going to be coming on with Duck still struggling with that, uh, that bloodied nose. Banega guilty of the foul this time. And here is the change. Diego Pecarano coming on. We've seen him a couple of times in the tournament. And he replaces uh, Yasmani Duck off with that bloodied nose. Smedberg Dallance with a free kick. Here's Levetsi. Not for long though. Smedberg Dallance wants more. Push in the back of Yasmani Campos. Well, it's all very scrappy. Hopefully this little phase of the game can pass quickly and we can get back to a, a more fluent style of football from both sides. So Smedberg Dallance, the only Bolivian player playing in Europe at the moment with Gothenburg with a decent ball in, but Romero always has that covered. And a simple catch in the end. who helps to clear the way. Here's Otamendi. Levetsi. Krenovita getting himself involved. It's Panega. Again, 
just satisfying themselves with possession at this stage. Until something develops ahead. Otamendi. Somehow working it through for Higuain. Aguero. With a chip to no one in the end. Argentina already finding themselves two goals to the good. Lovetsi doing terrifically well to keep his feet there. And um, there's Marnie Duck. That's the reason we're not seeing him on the field at the moment. Attempt to break through and um, another yellow card for Argentina here this time for the challenge from uh, Eva Benega. Just to reiterate, um, he and in fact none of the uh, the Argentine players out there at the moment have a yellow card to their name, so there's no danger this stage of um, him missing the quarter-finals. Never present so far, Benega. The severe midfielder. smegberg Dallas is a long, long way out. And it's a very poor delivery inside the penalty area. Certainly not a shot, and there was nobody in green there anywhere near the bounce of the ball. Romero's quick clearance. And here's Aguero on that far side. Wonderfully taken down and in. Aguero looking for a path through. Benega's shot is blocked away. Kranovita keeping his feet despite the challenges. Collected now by Lamella. Well, they are persistent here, Bolivia. But Argentina somehow keeping the ball, and this is Roncaglia. They start again. Cuesta. Kranovita. Interception by Azogue. He's hit some weights. Aware of the fussy causes wherever he goes, no doubt. Otamendi. Aguero. It's the ball back from the touch of Higuain. Physical here, Higuain picking a path around the defender, but it's blocked away by Cabrera. Well, they've certainly got the stomach for the fight here, Bolivia, haven't they? They are not standing off the challenges. Well, Caglia of Fiorentino with the ball down to Higuain. Lovatsi couldn't quite bring it under control. Otamendi. Yeah, it's Banega. Lovatsi. to 
saw a chance of Messi. Messi going around the stadium. They know they want to see him. Argentinian supporters satisfied with the fight on their side hold this 2-0 lead. And in a very dominant position. Through towards Lavezzi. Knocked away by Milian, but Argentina will come again here. It's a searching ball that is just uh, stabbed out of play in the end by um, the substitute Bejarano. Funes Mori playing on the left-hand side of defence here tonight. He's um, been the central defensive partner of Otamendi so far, but with Cuesta coming in and Rocco left out, that's the position he finds himself in. And Argentina find themselves with a a corner here to test this Bolivian defence again. The challenge is won, the byline is found, the cross is not quite what was needed, but neither was the clearance, and it's going to be picked up by Levesi and touched home for a third. What a start this is for Argentina. The goalkeeper can hardly believe it. But 3-0 with just over half an hour played. They're making mincemeat here of this Bolivian defence at times. Blocked away. And then the cross. They're all clearly onside. And just a touch to turn it in. Levetsi, provider this time. And turned home for a telling strike from Victor Cuesta. And I do believe that's his first international goal at Victor Cuesta, so quite a moment for celebration as well. He breaks his duck against Bolivia. Argentina lead by three goals to nil. to the relative safety of a throw-in for Argentina. Vanega. Otamendi. Here's Cuesta. And a rare touch in these last few moments for Sergio Romero. Searching for more here, Levetsi. And Caglia. Ooh. That was cheekily done, wasn't it? Time is run. Very, very nicely to get in and um, intercept there. Campos. Please, Alberto Gutierrez with a throw. Some 
a success in this tournament, Bolivia. They were Copa America winners, but it was uh, back in 1963 when they won it, and it was on home soil. Back in the days when it was uh, Campeonato Sudamericano. Runners up as well, also as hosts in 1997. But uh, not a lot else to shout about in this competition, Bolivia. And uh, that goes for this year as well, where they, they look as though they're going to go home empty handed without a without a point to their name. It's an Argentine throw. And just to the arms of a Mexican wave that is going round the stadium at the moment, this Century League field. The Seattle Seahawks, the, uh, the regular hosts here, of course. But it is soccer, not football, as the locals call it, that is taking centre stage here tonight. And an Argentinian side that is running in cruise control at the moment, leading already by three goals to nil. And looking for more, well, I think that was a cross from Rocaglia that was mishit rather than an attempt at goal. And Messi pulls his socks up. for the heavens. There's been a lot of that at this Copa America. Juan Caglia playing himself out of trouble. Cuesta pushing it forward. Here's Cranavita. Argentina looking to build again here. They've got options. Funes Mori going left to Lamella. Granavita swept away by Zentino. Funes Mori to take the throw. Mendy. And now Levetsi. Three goals here tonight. By the way, just to remind you, has taken Argentina now to ten group game goals. So one more would be a new Copa America record. can achieve that in the first half. Six minutes still to play. They've absolutely dominated proceedings, haven't they, so far? Not just in terms of the goals they've scored, but the possession they've had and the position they've acquired. He's teasing us, isn't he? Pulling his socks up and tying his shoelaces. I think it will be um, at, at least the start of the second half before we see Lionel Messi. He came on uh, deep into the second half, his first appearance in this tournament in the last game against Panama. The chase is on by Aguero. He's got to try and beat them himself despite the support that was in there in the middle. And Bolivia able to clear away again. But it is a constant wave after wave of Argentinian attack here, just sitting on possession, either on the halfway line or just inside their opponent's half, and then launching another attack time and time again. Kranovita.
Gomez Mori to his left. Higuain carrying on himself though. Lamella touches on for Aguero. Kranovic. Funes Mori back inside his own half to Cuesta here and now picked up by Otamendi as Argentina look to this right hand side this time with Roncaglia. coming out to try and put a little bit of pressure on these Argentinian players in possession. But there's, uh, there's not a lot of hurry so far for the Albi Celeste. They are quite comfortable in possession. And then they give it away. Lost 11 of their last 12 games, Bolivia, including a 2 0 defeat against Argentina in a World Cup qualifier in uh, Cordoba in March, and a 7 0 defeat in a friendly against Argentina last September in Houston. So their run against all opponents is pretty poor at the moment. Their one victory was against Venezuela, also in a World Cup qualifier, by four goals to two. But that's their only win in World Cup qualifying so far from their six games played so far. It's looking very unlikely that they will uh, trouble the qualifying spots in the South American pool. Just three World Cup appearances in their history, Bolivia, 1930, 1950, and more recently, 1994, you might remember, in the United States. Very much the bridesmaids of uh, South American football down the years. That's Kranovita's ball searching for something in the middle. And Lampe, the goalkeeper, out to play. Venegas steers away for a throw in. For Bolivia, she's going to be taken here by Saavedra. Only 20 years of age, the uh, the young right back. He's picking up a lot of vital experience here. And that's a rather unnecessary foul from Yasmani Campos. pace here Argentina no threat on them at all Otamendi Guerrero well, a, a tumble off the ball there by Roncaglia who felt he might have been fouled but the referee again had clear sight of matters and decided not to intervene Here's um, Campos, but losing out to Higuain. Ron Caglia. Venega. We're going to have a minute of added time at the end of the 45, which is uh, coming up in about 10 seconds or so. Argentina looking for possibly a fourth before that half-time whistle sounds. And here's Benega. Lovely tap-off to Higuain. And Higuain's shot is not going to trouble Lampe. Lovely little flick from Aguero, though, to put Higuain in position to get the shot away, but uh, Carlos Lampe always behind this. Not hit with the, the greatest of power. And Lampe down and safe. So 
the last 20 seconds or so of this um, opening half, which has gone exactly as most people would have predicted. Argentina in complete control in terms of the possession they've had and also the, uh, the scoreboard as well, leading by three goals to nil. One or two early flurries from uh, Bolivia. But nothing too greatly troubling for Sergio Romero, who for the most part in the Argentine goal has had a very quiet night so far. All the action at the other end. Lamella opening the scoring in the 13th minute. Lavaz Lavezzi adding his name to proceedings just a, a moment or two later. And Cuesta with his first international goal has given Argentina a 3-0 lead here at half-time. They knew before the night began they were in almost certainty going to be topping Group D. And that certainty has increased here with that half-time scoreline. So Lionel Messi, no sight, no sound of him on the field so far, but um, he's quick towards the dressing rooms on a chilly night. Maybe we are going to see him in the second half with Argentina in complete control as he looks to uh, recover from that, that little back injury that he had that ruled him out of the first game and saw him only playing a substitute's role in the second. And Bolivia will be looking forward to that, won't they? Already losing by three goals to nil. If Messi comes on as in, in the mood, then it might be a night that gets even worse for them. a sight that I think the vast majority of people inside this stadium will be welcoming. Lionel Messi is on for the start of the second half. Taking over the captain's armband from uh, the goalkeeper Sergio Romero. And I think she's thrilled to bits, isn't she? <laughs> she can't wait to get to school tomorrow and tell all her mates, guess who I watched playing football last night. So Lionel Messi is out there. And ready to go for an Argentinian side that already leads here by three goals to nil. <laughs> They're thrilled to bits. They can't believe it. Has ever a footballer created such a stir down the years? It looks like Lucas Biglia is uh, coming on as well in the second half. There's one change, at least for Bolivia, because Christian Machado is um, going to be coming on. Let's just see who they're replacing. No news of that just yet, but um, we will get that in just a moment. Well, here's the first change, and it is Sir Bolivia who are making that change, and Juan Carlos Arsa is coming off. And um, God love him, Christian Machado, but I don't think he's going to get the biggest cheer of the night as a substitute coming on. Almost unnoticed by the many thousands of eyes. We will look down here now and see that Lucas Biglia has come on. And there you go. Guess who's in town? Well, they were chanting his name in the first half, even when Argentina were dominating possession with about 82% to 18 and even when they were leading by three goals to nil, they still wanted to see Messi. And now they've got him. And Biglia on for Venega is the, the other change. So they're going to have to scale the heights here. Bolivia, there they go, it's a chance on goal. Right from the start of the second half, Bolivia finally 
get a chance on goal if it can go down as that. But the big news at the start of this second half is that Argentina have made two changes. Lucas Biglia coming on for Eva Bonega. But the headline act is Lionel Messi replacing Gonzalo Higuain. They were chanting his name in the first half and finally they get to see him in the second. But have a look at this. That will go down. It only was on target, but it will go down as a first real effort on goal from Bolivia. They've made one change as well. Christian Machado has come on for them and Juan Carlos Arthur has gone off. So Argentina lead by three goals to nil. There's a couple of records in the making now in this second half because one more goal would mean that Argentina have scored more goals in the group stages than anyone else in Copa America history. And um, that's a, a likely target. Perhaps a, a little a little less likely, but still very possible, is um, Lionel Messi, if he can score three goals tonight, he will equal Argentina's goal-scoring record, individual goal-scoring record. He comes on for Higuain in the second half. Batistuta with 56 goals. Messi with 53 are the two leading Argentine scorers of all time. So Messi's getting ever closer to that. You would have thought at some stage he's going to break Batistuta's record. Maybe at this match here tonight, possibly at this tournament. Already has a hat-trick for the first game, of course. Challenge here on um, Campos. It was the landing, wasn't it, rather than the challenge in mid-air that would have caused him the greatest of discomfort here. My word. That would have winded him. Deserves a roll or two, that, doesn't it? Campos, a goal scorer in the last game against um, Chile in Foxborough when he came on from the bench. It meant that briefly Bolivia were drawing 1-1, but um, a late, late goal. I think in the 10th minute of stoppage time for Chile denied Bolivia their point that night. And Campos, having crash-landed, is heading for the hangers for the moment. He's going to be OK, he's jogging to the sidelines now, so I think it's just a case of having received treatment, he's going to have to go off to come back on again. Well, he's a happy lad, having seen his hero out there. Machado, the substitute, with a drop ball, sends it downfield to Sergio Romero, who I think has been as busy so far in this second half as he was in the hole of the first. Not that he's been over-troubled. It's going to be a free kick. Levetsi spiralling to the ground for the challenge from Gutierrez. And the anticipation is that Messi might strike for goal here. Or at least that's the hope in the voices of about 40,000 inside CenturyLink Field. It's a bit of a distance and it's a bit of an angle, but when has that ever stopped him? Three goals so far in the tournament. He scored with a wonderful free kick in Chicago against Panama. Perhaps the angle wasn't quite as deep as this on that occasion. But Lampe is on his guard in the Bolivian goal. Messe curls one in, headed down and away by Cabrera. But they're not long out of possession, Argentina, because back comes Levetsi. Romero just being reminded that he's involved in this team effort again here tonight. Biglia, only touch for him at the start of this second half. Kranovita. It's forward 
towards Mets. Messi. It's forced away by sheer weight of Bolivian numbers and picked up by Biglia. Argentina back in that familiar holding pattern of keeping possession on the halfway line. Just um, testing their opponent's patience. Looking for the, uh, the wrong move from someone down in green so that they can strike Biglia. Aguero laid back to him with a little chip in. Levetz's header was from an offside position. Just a missed time run by uh, Levetsi. Well, he's got an awful lot of things to be proud of, hasn't he, Lionel Messi? But the one thing that is missing from uh, his CV is um, a tournament medal, a gold medal at a major tournament with Argentina. 1993, the last time that um, an Argentinian side lifted a trophy at a major competition, it was at the Copa America 23 years ago, when they beat Mexico in the final by two goals to one. They did beat Bolivia on the way to the final, but only by one goal to nil in that tournament, so maybe this is a bit of an omen here tonight. Consider them very strong favourites, wouldn't you? Very warm favourites at this stage, Argentina. There's Ron Caglia. Biglia. Messi. Immediately moving away from his man and picking out a pass or try to pick out a pass for Levetsi, but intercepted by Gutierrez, but not long before Argentina and Messi have it back. Here's Piglia, Aguero, Funes Mori, back to Cuesta. Just like his um, central defensive partner here tonight, an unlikely goal scorer for Argentina in this tournament. Mendy having struck in the last game against Panama. Here is Otamendi. Kranovita. Lamella. about all of this, isn't there? You, you just almost certain that Argentina are going to get at least another one or two in this game. They have a... Oh, I thought they had a corner there. Rivetsi is the man who touched it last. Here's the effort by Biglia, which the goalkeeper was um, in a good position to cover.
13 Copa America wins, 13 times runners-up, six times in the semi-finals, 33 times Argentina in the 100-year history of this tournament have reached at least the last four. And they are striding strongly here towards the final eight. Venezuela will then stand between them and a place in the semi-finals. In uh, Foxborough, Massachusetts, on Saturday for Argentina. On all accounts, straight after this match is finished here tonight, they are off on their travels. They're flying to Massachusetts tonight so that they can um, get themselves settled in as early as possible. So one of the testing aspects of this tournament is the, is the travel that's involved. Here's a quick throw. An opportunity for Campos, but wastes that one moment. It'll be a, a, a seven or eight hour flight for Argentina's players this evening across from uh, Seattle in the northwest of the United States to uh, Massachusetts, right on that east coast. Lamella. And they have before this been in Chicago and Santa Clara, California, so they are, they are collecting the air miles. But they'll be happy to do so as long as it means they're still in the tournament and playing as well as they have been so far. Try to push his way through. Olivia. They've got a free kick which relieves the pressure that was blowing. Olivia have got a big, uh, big flight ahead of them as well. They're going home. I'm sure they'd rather be flying to Boston, Massachusetts than uh, back home. Caglia. Otamendi. So many of these Argentine players, of course, playing in the, uh, the English Premier League at the moment, including that man, Finis Mori, who just um, turns it back again. Otamendi is with uh, Manchester City, of course. Here's Biglia. Back to Otamendi. And just picking the patterns and trying to find the openings and forcing another foul here. So another free kick. Expectation might be a little more justified because this is very much within Messi's range. Cabrera might regret that challenge on Aguera. Not least because of the geography of it, just five or six strides outside the penalty area. Lionel Messi. 53 international goals to his name. Looking to close the record on Batistuta. Carlos Lampe hopefully directing his wall into a position that might deny a shooting opportunity here. Messi's patient with his waiting. An hour gone. Finally the referee's happy. Lionel Messi will go for goal! 
that puts it wide. And the scratch at the back of the head suggests that he doesn't feel that was too far away. And the replay proves him correct. A sigh from the crowd here. Because they'd have loved to have seen that got on the inside of the post. about it would he it's going the right way but whether he'd have got there or not I don't think he would so Argentina come again here Levetsi a surge by him Biglia lays it off Messi plays it wide right for the cross is Headed away for the corner kick. They cannot get away from their own penalty area here, Bolivia. They cannot keep the possession for more than two or three passes. And in these circumstances, you feel another goal has to come sooner rather than later. Lovetsi trying to provide from the corner. Oh, it's miss kicked clearance in the first instance Messi Show. Here's Biglia. Not always been at his best in uh, Argentinian colours, has he? But that's a good ball towards Lovetsi, and here now is an opportunity for Aguero to lift one in beyond Biglia. Pull back from too deep. For the goal kick off the boot of Funes Mori. And one coach stands and applaud, the other one can only sit down and wonder what on earth his side can do to change the pattern of this game. And I rather think not very much because Argentina, with all that pedigree and all that star quality, Argentina look forward again with Aguero. It's another foul conceded. defending to do tonight, has he? As Aguero takes a look at goal just for a moment, it looks as though he might have had a crack himself, but trying to thread it through, as Oge for once manages to clear it away. Biglia coming back. On Caglia. Aguero, Biglia. Force wide, but he has support out there if he needs it. Doesn't need it, he can turn the men himself. Biglia. And here is Campos. Not quite able to reach the halfway line before he falls flat on his face. Biglia. putting on a performance here tonight against beleaguered opponents. 
they just about run off their feet, trying to chase possession back. Mendy. Messi. Almost getting the diagonal ball in. Funes Mori. to imagine that any team could be ever more dominant in a game than Argentina are being here tonight against Bolivia. Completely outclassed the Bolivians. It's almost like they're playing a different sport to the one that Argentina are playing. Certainly Argentina are playing it at a very different level. Not every pass goes to boot, but once they lose possession, they are so quick to win it back again. That's the problem for Bolivia. Um, they keep giving away these free kicks as well. So push on Aguero. Simply nothing they can do to ease the pressure. expecting Messi to go from goal from here amongst this uh, Seattle crowd. It's almost like a training ground exercise here tonight for Argentina, attack against defence. times to come. Venezuela might give them a bit more of a battle in the quarterfinals and then once you reach the semis then you really are in amongst uh, the real pedigree sides of this tournament. Otamendi. Biglia from Lazio. Twisting and turning and Funes Mori Again on this left-hand side. Now it's Aguero. And the one thing that um, Bolivia will satisfy themselves with so far is that for at least 23 minutes they have prevented Argentina scoring a fourth goal here. Even with the added threat of um, Messi on the field. Funes Mori, Aguero, Viglia, and a rare free kick against Argentina, so Bolivia have a chance maybe to get it inside their opponent's half. It's the wayward use of the arm there from Aguero, it's the referee spotted on Melian. It's a collector's item of a shot, isn't it? Just about every player inside the Argentinian half for once. And Lampe with a chance to clear it long, and he'll be hoping he doesn't see that ball bite for a time or two, but um, I think he's going to be disappointed because here come Argentina again. Picking up, 
touch towards Cuesta, and now on his left hand side it's Funes Mori. with which they're playing here tonight, Argentina. I guess there might be a, a danger of them losing a little bit of concentration. Kronovita, now Piglia. Funes Mori. switching on Argentina tonight are um, resting three or four of their players like Rocco and um, Mascherano and Gaetan because of the yellow card situation Di Maria injured so uh, this is not exactly a second string Argentina we're seeing but it is missing three or four of their bigger names and yet still they're making very light work of Bolivia here Funes Mori dangerously for a moment or two before it's hacked to the relative safety of the halfway line and beyond but back it comes Kranovita interesting year for him he played most of the year at River Plate before moving back to his parent club Atletico Madrid Here for touching the ball. Biglia. Messi. Oh, Messi's been dispossessed, and here comes Campos. Looking to punish the Argentinians for a little bit of sloppiness there. Now, there is a danger of um, Lionel Messi maybe trying to do too much here tonight to, to please the crowd firstly before doing the most basic stuff out there, being a little greedy at times. Sergio Romero on a chilly night getting a little bit of a run but here comes Messi and um, well, that's one for the scrapbook for Jasmani Campos isn't it the night he tackled Lionel Messi and came up on top Messi change here for Argentina I think uh, Maidana is coming on looking down there he is so a first appearance of the tournament for him Jonathan Maidana from River Plate and Nicholas Otamendi is the man who's coming off so Otamendi disappears to the sidelines, having done his job here tonight. He's been an ever-present so far in this Argentinian side. Goal scorer, of course, in the last game. I'm sure he'll be back for the quarter-finals. But a chance for Jonathan Maidana now to, uh, to show what he's capable of. And it's only his third cap here. He's getting on a bit, into his 30s now, but... Um, He comes out to join this successful Argentinian side in such a comfortable position. Lampe looking long. Frustration for Campos because he's given away the free kick.
Pinta. Here's Lamella. Seventeen goals Argentina have now scored in their last four meetings against Bolivia. And you'd suspect there's more to come here tonight. Caglia. Messi. Goes left and finds Funes Mori. His early ball is headed away. And then chipped away by Smedberg Dallas. Here's an early touch though for Maidana. They've worked hard here, Bolivia. So as time moves on, 40 minutes left to play, weariness might begin to take its toll. Kravita, wide right. Guerrero looking for Biglia. He'll get it at the second attempt. Messi's offside. He's offside. <laughs> and I think he knew he was offside. Just an element of showboating here, isn't there? Flag goes up. Messi probably um, instinctively knew that he was offside. He tries to embarrass the goalkeeper. Lampe made to look a bit of a clown there, wasn't he? But it all comes to north because Messi having strayed offside. The free kick goes Bolivia's way, and again they're back inside the Argentinian half, but not for long. The crowd here tonight, by the way, is just over 45,000. Century Link Field in Seattle. And as big as this crowd is here tonight, I think it's going to be beaten by a good few thousand in a couple of nights' time when the USA, the host nation, take on Ecuador in the quarterfinals. Funes Mori. sharp to avoid the tigerish challenges that are coming in at the moment. Aguero. The run had been made down the middle by Vale uh, Levetsi, but he couldn't be picked out. And you have to say, I mean full marks here to Bolivia because for all that they're second best by a long, long distance. Maintaining a certain discipline and a certain work ethic. They're not making it easy in terms of goal scoring opportunities for Argentina. For all that they've had the ball at their feet, they've not had too many shots on goal in this second half. Argentine throw. Guero back to Biglia. Here's Cranavita. And this on the near side is Eric Lamella. He and Funes Mori exchange passes. Biglia collects down the middle again. Aguero, a little push and a roll, heavy in the first touch, but still has possession. Try to play in Biglia, but that wall of green stands firm and clears away again. This is Maidana. Biglia. Messi. Ten more minutes for Bolivia to hold out. Messi. With a 
battle goes on between him and Campos, and this time Campos comes off second best in terms of giving the free kick away, and he's... He's clearly an angry man. Well, as big as your name is, he seems to be suggesting you don't intimidate me. It's going to earn him a yellow card. And it's um, going to put him down on the bottom of the popularity list inside this stadium, because there's no doubt that I think the majority <laughs> on the side of Lionel Messi, but uh, full marks for his spirit as well there, Jasmani Campos. He's already dispossessed Messi once here tonight, and he's uh, up for the battle again. Comes in and makes sure that left knee connects with the left thigh of Lionel Messi. Make the night as uncomfortable as possible as he can. Coming together of their heads. Well, if that was what the reason for the booking was for Jasmani Campos, then you'd have to say Lionel Messi should have seen yellow as well because it seemed to be six of one and half a dozen of the other. If the referee's given the booking for the head touches, then surely Messi should have had um, a booking as well. Instead, he's going for goal! Keeper just straying off his line a little. Messi saw that and decides to test out the range. Just over the crossbar. remaining plus stoppage time here Argentina who knew before the night began with near certainty that they were topping Group D are now in a position of going through this group stage in emphatic style they beat Chile in the opening match by two goals to one that was their biggest test without Lionel Messi at all that night of course they struggled for a while in terms of goal scoring against Panama. The, uh, the header from Otamendi, the only thing they had to show for quite a while until Messi came on and scored a hat-trick and made another for Aguero, but 5-0, that game ended. 3-0 with three goals in the first half here tonight is how it stands at the moment. and all their possession in the second half. They haven't had too many moments when you thought that they were going to get another. They've looked capable of scoring plenty, but final balls in, final shots, not quite. Not quite unpicking the Bolivian defence. Here's Biglia. Final change being made for them here. Samuel, uh, rather, Carmelo... Garanias is about to come on. Funes Mori. Biglia. Levetsi. See there, Martin Smedberg Dalens is the player going off. He scored in the, uh, the Copa America last year in a win against Ecuador. Bolivia's first Copa America win since 1997. They're going to be waiting for uh, an, at least another couple of years before they get their next Copa America win. He's gone off, and Carmela Algaranes comes on. Um, a bonus appearance for him. Late replacement for Samuel Galindo in the squad. 
wasn't selected initially, but um, having been selected, he now gets, well, what, five minutes of a taste of the action in this defensive effort by Bolivia. Aguero's going to go for goal. Spectacular. Instead, it's a goal kick. Substitutes. Gerardo Martino given the luxury of um, getting a good number now, the majority of his squad, some uh, some game time and some experience in the tournament before it all gets very serious in the quarterfinals. from Tottenham Hotspurs. so far tonight. It's not been the most satisfactory of second halves, has it, as it draws towards its conclusion, under two minutes to play. the half-time whistle sounded Argentina knowing that they were in a, a real comfort zone maybe at times just trying a little too hard against a Bolivian defence that has worked overtime in the second half just to stifle as much as they can Possession, but running into trouble. Lamella. Big Lear again. Lovetsi. Trying to corkscrew one in. Was pushing ahead of that was towards Messi, but he was off balance. And he was offside. here it's just petering out really isn't it big crowd here coming hoping to be entertained they would have been with uh, what they saw in the first half less so in the second Peruvian referee had to be firm in that first period there were one or two uh, skirmishes weren't there one or two heated moments and his referee with a smile on his face there's confirmation of two minutes of added time then at the end of the 90. Argentina 
just uh, settling in for a comfortable victory here against Bolivia. something of a consolation the side in green but uh, the likelihood of that is uh, not very here's Maidana Biglia Argentina with just over a minute to try and craft at something else here as forward comes Ron Caglia back to Biglia again now it's Lamella Funes Mori to his left but Lamella's going more direct than that with a teasing little run couldn't quite thread it through again. Campos. Well, there was a second little chip here, I think, from Victor Cuesta, who's going to get the yellow card, and quite rightly too, because that was unnecessary. Maybe that was a little bit of retribution from the Argentinian centre-half for what... Um, Campos did to his captain a little earlier in the game. But having made the challenge and the ball going out of play, he then just had a little chip again at Campos. Let's have a look at this. The ball's gone out, and then he just decides to lift his leg and just... Um, crack at the ankles of Campos and that was spotted by the referee and quite rightly has earned a yellow card for Victor Cuesta. Big Leonard looking to drive it forward but not before the referee will sound his whistle for the final time. Argentina comfortable 3-0 winners against Bolivia. Lionel Messi gets a whole 45 minutes in so his match fitness continues to improve ahead of the knockout stages of this tournament. Argentina knew before the night began where they were going. They're off to Foxborough, Massachusetts to play Venezuela, having beaten Bolivia by three goals to nil. Rarely threatened, and in fact, rarely threatened the Bolivian goal in the second half, but they themselves were rarely threatened Argentina throughout that game. A very, very comfortable night for them. Full marks to the Bolivian defence, Saavedra and his teammates who uh, put in a shift here tonight to close Argentina down, to stifle their ambitions in the second half. Just a couple of walls of green outside that penalty area, making sure that Argentina's chances in the second period were few and far between. But by that stage, the game had already been won. Lionel Messi not making his mark tonight, but um, his hat-trick in the last game and the full 45 minutes here tonight promises more to come in the knockout stages.